So there are a few prosthetic surgeons across across the world that are that are really renowned and very respected, and that are pioneers in what we do. And Dr. Park is certainly one of those those few. Um, Dr. Park has has revolutionized the way we do prosthetic surgery, and the fact that he is the uh, the, the uh, forerunner uh, and the pioneer in terms of doing prosthetic surgery as an outpatient with minimal anesthesia and allowing patients to go home the same day. What I heard, what I say, your presentation to do the penile implant on the local anesthesia, that is amazing. So I admire you, you can do that, you know, in, in your office. And uh, I think that's really serve the patient from different way, financially and the convenience and uh, and uh, and uh, of course you do this effectively i think that's that's really outstanding well he's a driven man uh he has used his uh resources to uh achieve the best training that's possible uh and he not only uh got the best training by spending uh almost a year over here shadowing uh big time implanters uh but uh, even now, uh, he's spending a lot of money traveling the world to go to conferences to continue his education. So, uh, not only does he have excellent surgical skills, but because of this dedication to his field, he has uh, developed a, an excellent, educated mind. Well, uh, the thing that impressed me so much about Dr. Park is that uh, he quickly became um, one of the leaders in, in all of Asia. Uh, I, I worked with him first about five years ago and um, I knew that he possessed a, a good basic background of uh, surgical experience but uh, he has become an expert in this field and, and, and has risen uh, meteorically uh, to the top of the field. I, I don't see uh, where he uh, where he else he can go in this field uh, <clears throat> beyond where he is now uh, so uh, I think the world of him and uh, have tremendous admiration for him now what's uh, greater about him is his uh, complete philosophy about the uh, way he treats and handle patients uh, and that uh, he has an extreme uh, good judgment and experience uh, to bring uh, when performing uh, an operation on a patient. Uh, I think those are important qu uh, qualities to have um, when you're a doctor and you uh, treat a patient. I think his philosophy is outstanding and uh, uh, his t combined with his technical skills and good judgment makes for a formidable doctor. Yeah, there's a few things that you look at. You look at their fund of knowledge, you look at their hands, their skills, and, that, and then you, you, you look at their ability to, to, to see things as they should be in the future. He, he's a guy who had all three things and all three things at the highest level. The guy really is, he's the future of prosthetic urology that I, that I see. And I've seen a lot of them.